Okay, so welcome back. The next banner we will be designing is our Facebook banner. So let's get straight into it. So as you can see, some people call it a Facebook cover, some people call it a Facebook banner, some people call it a Facebook, I don't know anything really. It's got many different names, but let's just get into designing it. So at the top here, it says create a design. Let's go over to the right and click more. Okay. And then let's scroll down until we see social media and email headers. So on here, you will see there is one which is called Facebook cover just here. Click that and let the new page load. Okay. Once it's loaded, this is the page where you'll be designing your header. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first of all, of course, you want to scroll through all of the different layouts and pick the one which is most suitable for your brand or business. So yeah, let's just go through them, pick one which is perfect for black brick training and begin designing, I suppose. So yeah, let's just see what we can find first of all. All right then, so there's many different designs here, many different themes, many different styles, and we're just gonna pick one which is perfect for us. Now, some are paid, some are free. It's of course, if you do wanna pay for them, you will receive a license to use it wherever you need to. So that is great, and yes, so that is fantastic. So let's just keep scrolling through them to see what we can find. Possibly this one, I'll open it just in case, but we may find something better in a second. So let's just keep scrolling at the moment until we may find something better. But if not, this one's a nice one. So let's keep this here just for now. Okay, so yeah, I think this will be what we use, it looks like. We've chosen that we are going to be using this one. Fantastic. So, first of all, we just want to change the main text to black brick. And of course, we need to make the font a bit smaller so the text actually fits in. A bit smaller than that as well. 48 possibly. Yep, perfect. And then we need the web address. So let's just copy that from the website. And let me just get that right now. Fantastic. So it is www. And then I'll paste the rest in just here, like so. And then let's make that a tiny bit smaller so it all fits in. Fantastic. That is perfect. Okay, so now that is all there. We have black brick and we have www.blackbricktraining.co.uk. I'm just bringing them a bit closer together because I think it looks better like that. It looks it looks nicer, I'd say. First of all, I'm just going to change this image because it means nothing to us. So we're just going to type in, let's just type in MacBook once again because MacBooks are always just, just nice, stylish, little little pictures of MacBooks. They're always just nice, nice images, I'd say. So yeah, let's pick one of these that will be good for us. Let's pick this one first. And then what we're going to do is want to go to flip and flip horizontally. Okay, so that then puts it there. If you double click it, you can then choose which part is actually shown. So let's go all the way to the top and tick that. And if you go to filter just here, you can then see that we have a filter on. So let's go to normal, remove that filter. And then over here on this color, we're gonna go to here where it says transparency. Let's click this button here and just scroll down a little so that the back of the actual image, the background image, is still slightly visible and this color is also still slightly visible. So yeah, that looks nice. You can see the slight change from the image and then it goes slightly bluer for this side over here, which is where we'll have the more information side of things, okay? So we have the image over here and then the information over here. So that's awesome. Okay, so you can of course add photos, grids, frames, shapes, lines, illustrations, icons, charts, iHeart Canva, absolutely anything, nature, people, food. There's so many different things. All of these ones down here with the little crown next to them, they do require either the free trial of the pro version or the pro version itself, which is $12.95 per month. So that is something to take note of. But of course, you don't have to use that. You can just use these free ones up here. So let's go to icons and have a look what they have here. Okay, so we have light bulb. We have many different things actually. We can we can probably find something which we can put above the text over here to make it suit a bit better. So let's just see what we can find. I reckon possibly even that light bulb. I just think it looks quite nice. Let's just pop that in up here above the rest of this text and change the color of it to white. And there we go, so that looks quite cool. I like that a lot. That's very nice. So yeah, now let's leave that as that. And yeah, so that's very simple design. It's very nice, but it's, it's just very nice indeed. I like it a lot. Now what we could do is start adding our usernames for social media profiles. So this is for Facebook, so we could add Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, anything we want. So let's add Twitter first of all. And let's just add this one just here. Make it a bit smaller. And then, where should we put it? Should we put it on this side with the image, or on this side with this text? It's difficult to choose, really. I think I'm gonna put it with the image, actually. Yeah, I think I will. Let's add Twitter first of all, and just duplicate this down here. So it's the same font and then it fits in a bit better. And for Twitter, we are at Black Brick Learn. Black Brick Learn. Fantastic. So now let's just make that text a bit smaller. Let's say 12 and make this box smaller as well. Awesome. So now let's pop that in just there. And let's also add Instagram like so. Hit enter. And here we go. So now we have Instagram. 
Let's make that just the same size. There we go, fantastic. And let's put this just here. And our Instagram is at Black Brick Training. Okay, so let's duplicate that Black Brick Learn, move it across like so, make the box a bit bigger, and then change from Learn to, of course, Training. So let's select this text just here. There we go, and then put Training. Training, there we go. So we've got at Black Brick Learn for Twitter and at Black Brick Training for Instagram. Now we can also add Snapchat, of course, like so. And that is also at Black Brick Learn. So let's just move this down here, make it the correct size. There we go. Not quite wanting to be the right size. There we go. Perfect. And that is also at Black Brick Learn. So let's duplicate this one and move this across here. Like so. Fantastic. And I think what we should do is just add more until we get to the very end of the entire design. Okay, so all the way to the edge here. So I reckon we can fit possibly one, possibly two more in. So let's now add YouTube. Okay, so let's go YouTube. Click on this one just here line it up and then make it a lot lot smaller so that it fits in with the others there we go that's it it's gonna be a little bit too high so let's just move these texts up a little bit fantastic let's move this to the left there we go okay and that is going to be youtube.com forward slash so it's gonna be a forward slash one okay so it's not at it's instead forward slash and then it's going to be just black brick okay so forward slash black brick and remove training and do you think we'll fit in one more? That is the question. We have four fitting in very nicely just here, but it'll be a shame to see one have to not fit in. Let's just grab Black Brick Training and Instagram and move this up and swap it places with at Black Brick Learn for Snapchat because that's the same as Twitter. And I feel like that just works if you have it like that. There we go. So let's just move these down here like this. Fantastic. And now everything fits in nicely. Okay, so there we go. Uh, the spacing is a little bit different for all of them, which is very tricky to keep the same. So I'd recommend just playing around with all the text boxes for a minute, just to make sure they are all aligned with each other nicely and the spacing is all exactly the same, as that will make the design look 10 times better, okay? It will take you a little extra time making sure everything fits in perfectly, of course, but it's quite important anyway, so there we go. I think that's pretty much perfect. Let's just change this one here to the center. So then we also want to move this to the left a little. Okay, so there we go. We have at Black Brick Learn for Twitter, at Black Brick Learn for Snapchat, at Black Brick Training for Instagram, and slash Black Brick for YouTube. So there we go. We have these along the bottom. And yeah, we have a little bit of space for one more, but I can't actually think of another social media right now. So we're going to leave this as this, as it looks very nice anyway and I am very happy with it. I am going to try one last thing before I end the lecture, and that is making it so these two are on this side, and these two are the other side of the blue. Okay, so let's just see if we can make this work. So if we have two on here and two on there, let's see, so I'll center that, and I'll move that to there. Okay, yeah, I think that works. We have these two here, these two there, and then there's no just random space other than this here, but I think that looks fine. So yeah, there we go. That is it. This is our new Facebook header, Facebook banner, whatever you want to call it. Let's just rename this now, Facebook banner. And that is this lecture done. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a lot and hopefully you had a great time. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.